Midwives and home births have become more and more popular in Hawaii, but when things go wrong, can a midwife handle the situation? A Hawaii lawyer is pushing for regulations following accusations of a botched birth. In 2011, Margaret Drake called her naturopath, saying her water had broke, her contractions had started, the baby was coming. She says no one showed up at her mano home until the next day. The delivery process went on for over two days. The naturopath should have taken Margaret to the hospital for emergency cesarean section but did not. Baby Makayo was born limp and taken by ambulance to the hospital. Nearly two years later, he still has serious issues. Um, severely uh, brain damaged, um, developmental difficulties, um, will have uh, most probably develop developmental difficulties for the rest of his life. Attorney Richard Turbin filed suit this week against the naturopath, Lori Kimata, assistant Keja Gibbs, and the Sacred Healing Arts Center. Drake says Kimata came highly recommended as a midwife. It's uh, very popular. Many friends of mine have done it. As you can tell from the article on the, the weekly, it's definitely becoming um, more well-known and accepted and, and advertised as a safe option um, with people who know what they're doing. Although the naturopath claimed she was a midwife, there are actually no legalized, licensed, no licensed midwives in the state of Hawaii because midwifery in the state of Hawaii is not regulated. Turbin is hoping that will change with the next legislative session. Senate Health Chairman and ER doctor Josh Green agrees. We license other professionals in the medical field, of course. Uh, midwives should be no exception. In these particular cases, cases of deliveries, they can go south so quickly uh, where a mom could die or obviously a, a child could be um, injured and disabled for a lifetime. So it's going to have to happen. Now, the lawsuit seeks damages from the defendants. We were unable to reach naturopathic Dr. Lori Kimata for comment.